What's happening? Uh, Tony, I'm following Mindy Han. She's red hot uh, right now in capping, and I know we've said it before, but I haven't said it in uh, a few months, so in case we have new people like Rapper Capper in our show, I just want to mention that uh, Mindy Han, fourth all-time at Nebraska Omaha in fielding assists, uh, 487 in her career, which ranks still 24th all-time in Division II. Of course, uh, Nebraska Omaha was Division II when Mindy played a four-year letterman from 1995 to 1998. She also made the uh, Division II all-NCAA tournament team in 1996. So shout out to my co-host, Mindy Hahn, uh, Nebraska Omaha Maverick, third baseman, great, that basically, Tony, she stopped everything and threw it over to first every time without uh, throwing it away, <laughs> basically yeah. every time. I, I, then she played, like so I think she years. said she played like her senior year with a broken finger or broken hands, a broken wrist, I think. Yeah, that's <laughs> one, one, year, that? yeah, one year with a broken wrist. <laughs> so oh, there you go. There you go. Mindy really, well, she knows, she knows her, the sports very well. She does great. You can see here the numbers here. Been fantastic. With the moment we go to the she ice. She played the game, brother. That's right. Tonight, Ramon goes to the ice tonight where he's been on fire here with over 3,000 units of profit for 2022. Bruins here to host the Panthers here. The Bruins minus 190, total six and a half. Yeah, it was a shame, you know, we were talking about being not being able to throw anymore in our old age. And, uh, uh, you know, that's too bad. But uh, anyways, Tony, yeah, Florida going to take on Boston tonight. First game on top of the rotation. Thought I'd take a look at the puck here tonight in this one. Uh, we covered it a little bit on the morning steam. Mindy and I were uh, on the Bruins here tonight, just to mention uh, kind of a, a steamed game. Certainly Boston opened to buck 65. You see them there now, buck 90. Uh, still unbeaten at home. They've run into a little bit of trouble of late, but trouble for Boston means they end up winning the game in overtime or a shootout. So they're just so red hot. What a season they're having. Uh, right now, uh, uh, you know, not necessarily crushing teams either, Tony. You know, when I tried to press Mindy on it a little bit, said, "Hey, you know, we're laying a buck ninety. You know, are you, I'm kind of interested in the puck line." But you know, her numbers came back saying, you know, really just a one goal game. And you look at the way Boston's winning. Uh, yes, they have been dominant, but they've played close games. That's not necessarily a sign that this is a fluke. It's just a sign that they know how to win and how to get it done. So uh, let's take a look at this one in terms of the total because I think we've we already said we're already on Boston on the morning, Steve. So I think for Boston, they'll probably have Olmark in there. Swayman played the last game. Not confirmed yet, but Olmark, he's second in the NHL and uh, goals saved above average. So been pretty strong. Swayman's been a good backup for them. They've kind of hung their mask, if you will, with Omark this season. The Bruins have gone under in three of their last four games and seven of their last ten. They do have a couple of overs of late, but four of their last six games have gone under six and a half. You see the number right there. They're comfortable in the middle of a five-game homestand. They've allowed just 16 goals in eight December games thus far, going up against these Panthers, they're going to be missing some key players tonight. Uh, Barkov looks like he's going to be out. And also several other frontline guys, including Kachuk, Tierney, Lundell. They're all questionable heading into tonight's game. We'll get maybe a more of an update, but certainly their status is in question. Now, White, his status was probable. Now he's been moved from questionable to probable. That'll help Florida a little bit. Uh, on the front lines uh, there. But they've been getting good goaltending this season with Bobrovsky. But you know what? Uh, 21-year-old Spencer Knight, he's going to be back. Uh, they said it was a non-COVID illness. So, uh, you know, he was out for two weeks. So pretty, he was pretty sick. And we know that not everybody gets COVID anymore, variations. Maybe he had Flovid out there in Florida. I'm not sure. But still his first start in two weeks, 2.64 goals against for the 21-year-old, he looks like a pretty awesome prospect, actually, for the Panthers, who've been playing pretty well of late, but uh, they're running into a bit of a buzzsaw here in the Bruins. Uh, 
Florida, one and four to the under as an underdog this season. They've gone under in five of their last six, including three straight. And uh, I think with those uh, front liners out, Tony and the Bruins just on a roll, I expect a tight game could be in there three to two, maybe four to two if the Bruins get that uh, um, empty netter. But I'm going to go under six and a half tonight, Tony, in this one. All right, Mo says go under Panthers, Bruins, under six and a half. Of course, I kept the line on those Bruins when they faced the Kings, got off the 2 nothing lean, and the Kings got back on them. It's put up, uh, tied it up at two. They go to the shootout for the 3-2. to two. But, again, um, you know, still uh, in regulation, they allowed just two goals there, the Kings and Columbus uh, in their past two. And one to the Islanders, yep. or three to Islanders. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, that's the thing that they've been doing. They've been getting good goaltending, and it has not stopped. What an incredible season for Boston. We talk about it on the show every day, what's going on in the Eastern Conference with teams like <laughs> New Jersey, Pittsburgh, now Carolina's red hot, Toronto is good. The East seems to be, well, better than the West right now for sure with all these good teams. You know, uh, Colorado out West, you wonder they're not getting much done. You got Dallas in the, playing better, but who's really the best team out west i'm not really sure not sure we know boston's the best out east because all these teams are playing better but the record speaks for itself tony this is just an incredible run by the bruins uh they're not going to give it away like that other uh boston area team did last night they're not, <laughs> doing, they're not yeah. going to do anything dumb here boston among the best in the league right now no doubt about it and i expect like i said I pressed Mindy on it today when we went with Boston. I said, you know, gosh, you know, we can get a pretty good price here on awesome Boston. And, you know, Florida, they're, they have been playing better. You know, they had a great season last year, but they made so many changes in the offseason. But, look, Kachuk, he's one of their main guys that they picked up. He's probably not going to even play tonight. So uh, I do like the fact that Knight is in there as well for Florida tonight. Uh, even though he has been out, he's eight four and th eight four and three this season with a two point six four goals against. And yeah, both these teams seem to be giving up less than three goals a game in most uh, every game. It seems like of late. So I was I'm going to be on the under here. The under, yeah. You look at Florida under four zero and one, and the Panthers last five against that east to east of the east eastern conference there panthers bruins yeah. under six and a half cool. uh, this one will have a start time here of seven eastern time all right ramon let's take a look over at tony's picks for today's action of course as we talked about ramon great results in the nhl but also doing great result in many of the sports that we document over at tonyspicks.com you can see the results <clears throat> three thousand and thirty one units of profit here i'm just gonna go ahead and pull the full page up here so you can see here this is for 2022 uh showing results three 3,011 units of profit NHL. Of course, the Summer League was strong. NCAA baseball was strong. College football strong here uh, from Ramon here over the, uh, for, 20, for, for 2022. NBA as well, showing profit. All right, Ramon, got a big board here on the uh, from uh, NBA. We got some hockey, college basketball as well. What do you have going over at Tony's Picks? Well, the National Football League, Tony, don't forget. We're going to have an interesting game tonight with the Rams and the Packers. We were kidding about it on the show today. You know, not the most attractive matchup, but you got Baker, you've got uh, Rodgers. So I think these guys can salvage it tonight. And I've got a premium play tonight in the National Football League. And I've went with the Tony's Picks $15 play in that game tonight between the Rams and the Packers. Pick it up over there at Tony'sPicks.com and use that promo code TonyT at checkout. It'll save you 20%. So even less than $15, you can get that one. Take a look there. Also, you see I have a college basketball three-pack of games on the main board. Uh, I Dare, dare I say mid-majors tonight, more like mid-minors with tonight's schedule. They used to have big Monday, Tony, but now they have a mid-minor Monday, I think, uh, with the way the schedule's worked out. I don't know, uh, you know, they've moved away from those big Monday night games. Uh, I don't think they're ever going to come back, uh, really, the way it's set up. But that's okay. Also tonight, three-pack in the NBA. I was bitter about giving away some units. Just was playing too many of those high scoring games and just falling short. The games were going high, the bookmakers were fooling me a little bit, and they'd always end up just a couple points short. We'll get those units back. I mean, uh, you know, I racked up those units in the playoffs and hate to give them back necessarily, but uh, we'll get on track here with the NBA Monday night three pack premium pass tonight for $30 over at Tony'sPicks.com. So, got some nice packages uh, in all the sports tonight. And yeah, I might even come in with a little bit of late steam later. Also, I do want to mention, yeah, 
NHL Monday Night Best Bet tonight. It's in the late game, so you got time to pick it up for $25 over at Tony'sPicks.com. Still kind of look at a little bit at some of the NHL uh, games. There have been some late-breaking information that maybe can get me on some. But for now, that's what we're looking at right there on your screen. Those are my pack packages uh, for tonight's card. Feel pretty good about it. That's right, guys. Got over Mon Scott over at Tony's Picks. Great results in NHL over the past uh, 30 days. Uh, we put it up there for 2022. It's been on fire here. As uh, we put it up there for you to check it out here, we got uh, Ramon here at uh, 3,031 units of profit here for 2022. And, of course, tonight over at uh, Tony'sPicks.com on the board tonight, Ramon with a three-pack from College Hoops in action here with a $15 premium play from Monday Night Football as well as an NBA three-pack and his NHL best bet on the board right now over at Tony's Picks. These, are, of course, are in Orange, a uh, profit guarantee, meaning it must turn a profit. Or the amount you purchase is credit back in your account for side credits. That is credit guarantee. Also, as you scroll down, you'll find some of the longer-term passes, which are in yellow, which are not a uh, profit guarantee because they're sold much at a great discount already. Uh, and, of course, here we are on a Monday. Good time to get that seven-day all-sports pass from Ramon. Get all of Ramon's premium plays for seven days. You know, he'll be in action in NFL, right? We got NFL now Monday, uh, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? With the Christmas Day. Uh, action coming up as well as college, all the college football bowl action, uh, your NHL, your NBA. Uh, UFC is wrapped up for the year, but still uh, for Mo Ramon's in action there uh, with, with those major sports. That's enough to keep you busy. And just at the right time, my gardeners, I, I started work here. But anyway, get on board with Ramon with that seven day pass. And don't forget to use that promo code Tony T at checkout and you'll save 15, uh, 20 percent off you can access ramon's page by clicking the link you see in the description click the all covers tab and get signed up all right Ramon, we also put together for you a twitter account tony speaks ramon and of course that new feature you added to the morning steam with that morning steam line move yeah, I'll be in action tonight. Head on over to Tony's Picks Ramon on Twitter. Pick up a play uh, tonight there on the uh, card. And also, yeah, uh, you know, just starting to, like you, Tony, you know, when you get your boards together there, you got to kind of feel comfortable and everything. It's a feature I've wanted to add for a long time because what would happen is, you know, I'd have to turn off the uh, – kind of the uh, line services that I use. I mean, I'm a screen watcher, you know that, and I don't know if everybody's familiar with that term, but, you know, uh, I love handicapping. I love the personnel. I love watching the games, but I love staring at these screens and watching the latest line move. It's truly the real indicator of the way the money is coming in. So uh, it doesn't lie. The money doesn't lie. I follow the money, they always say. And what I wanted to do was try to incorporate that into the show, the morning theme, right? Because we're on at such a key hour. That was really the basis of the show a little bit was to try to keep everyone informed because uh, at that time, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, so much line move occurs. It's more than any other time uh, throughout the day, unless there's an injury or something. But in general, when people are starting to hit the hit the apps, if you will, we used to say hit the window, right? Because uh, the traditional opener used to be 1130 Eastern and 830 Pacific, but those days are long gone. We're now into the time where, you know, as soon as those lines are put up, even at smaller limits, people say, well, you know, the limits are small. It doesn't matter. I mean, you, you don't have whales coming in. You know, serious handicappers are playing at small limits, trying to get the best lines possible. Then they'll open their uh, pocketbook a little bit if they continue if they have the best line available. But you've got to hit those games, even at the lower limits, force those bookmakers to make a move. And uh, what I wanted to do was just make sure we're trying to get the information to the people watching the show and I thought it'd be a great idea just to try to make sure keep my screen open rather than shutting it off we were doing the show I'd come back on and I said man look at how many games moved while we were doing the show it would be way better if I could just keep this information moving and pass it along to our viewers uh, as they're watching the show and sure enough you know the, we do have some sophisticated viewers, no doubt about it. They're probably watching their own. They might have their own screens. I don't know. Not everybody does it the way I do, but I'm sure a lot of people do look at their books or multiple books or have it set up where they're looking at the, the apps that might show multiple books. And sure enough, as we gave out the steam today, kind of doing it for the first time, our chat was reacting. Yeah, look at these games move. And we were talking about games that were moving, you know, one, one and a half, two, two and a half points right in real time uh, on there. So I think it's going to be a good feature. And it was more a matter of just getting comfortable, Tony, uh, with 
being able to produce the show. Uh, the way the other way the show's evolved, of course, is through the participation of the chat with their great comments, statistics, and picks. And I wanted to be able to put all those on the screen so everyone feels a part of the Morning Steam team, the family, if you will. And when I say that when Mindy and I have our success with our picks there on the uh, leaderboards at Tony's Picks, that they should take pride in that, that they are part of Morning Steam. So anybody who goes to the Tony's Picks website, please always check out our handicapper leaderboards and see who's hot, Tony. And that way, when they uh, see the Morning Steam up there, they can feel like they're a part of putting those winners together. Uh, doesn't mean we're, Mindy and I are going to cut you in on the profits, but you should be able to cut yourself in on the profits by playing those plays, those consensus plays that come not only from Mindy and I, but the participants in the chat as well. That's right. Great chat participation. I want to say shout out there to uh, Rick in the chat room. Better Scotch loves a new line move feature. Rapper Capper as well. Blake as well in the chat room, guys. So uh, appreciate your contributions to the shows. And of course, uh, it's Twitter is at Ram uh, Tony Spix Ramon. Of course, check them out. Morning Steam with Mindy, Saturday through Thursday, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And if you happen to miss any show, guys, you can also catch it on the podcast. You know, many of you are at work. It's Tony's Picks podcast available on all major platforms. Just search Tony's Picks on your favorite platform. You can watch the full length. Morning Steam Show on your drive to and from work. Or we love our truckers out there. I know I know we're busy at this holiday season. Uh, so uh, shout out to you guys. We've got a podcast where we put every pick up there in podcast for, for you there on the, on, the, on the podcast. All right, Ramon, as always, uh, great having your show. Keep up the great work, and we'll talk with you again tomorrow. Yep, thanks a lot. Remember, if anybody misses any of the plays on the Morning Steam, they can pick up those plays, yeah, for a small fee over at Tony'sPicks.com. But our relationship with you, Tony, we're just, you know, we're worker bees a little bit, and uh, that really helps us out, keeps us on the air, and keeps us motivated to keep going. So we really appreciate all the people that have actually subscribed. I, I thought you were kidding when you said, let's do that. I said, Tony, we're giving it out for free right here on the show. But you know what? Uh, they see the records. Sometimes they can't see the show, and some people don't see the show, and they just see the records. So appreciate that idea. It's really been a blessing. Oh, yeah. I mean, we probably, I mean, between the video views, uh, I think uh, you could do the math there, probably a couple thousand, three thousand. We have live people, the replays, and all the chops, probably three to 4,000 a day. But we have 7 million impressions a month, Ramon. <laughs> right, there's a lot of people that aren't watching the show, so uh, we, we're, that's where we get a lot of it, too. We get it all, a, lot, a lot of folks uh, that maybe not have time, but uh, we're trying to turn them in. We'll get them on. We'll get them onto the show, but again, lots of traffic out there we have from all our videos and, uh, and of course, our articles and our, our site structure as well so uh, guys check that's us where out. i want to join you you know what you're doing man <laughs> that's right there you go all right Mo, have yourself a great evening we'll talk with you again uh on tomorrow see you later thank you yeah ron scott here